What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to talk about collaboration, manage linked files. So we are now on the topic collaboration on our Revit for Mechanical Design certification preparation. So in this video, we are going to learn how to manage linked files. Okay, so if your link model is being monitored, if you remember last time, we did an exercise like we go to collaborate and then we use the copy monitor. So this is what we did last time. Now, let's say, for example, this is now already being monitored. So if you move this, like, for example, I'm going to drag that to hit to this side here. You can see that there is a warning that will appear if elements are being monitored. So if not, it may be difficult to see that it has moved. Okay. Now, if a link does get uh, moved, for example, like this one. So I'll just close this one. So you can select your link model and then you can right click uh, right click that and then you have uh, two options here. So it's either you reposition to the project base point or reposition to internal origin. Okay, now for this exercise, I'll just select reposition to internal origin. So I'll just select that one and then it will now go back again to that original position and then again, there's a warning that your link model has been moved okay now to keep the link models from moving so what we can do is we can select the link model and then after that you see that icon there so you can pin your link model or aside from that if if it is difficult for you to select that icon you can actually select this icon here to pin your link model or you can just simply type pn so you select your model your link model and then you type pn on your keyboard so that is also pin so as you can see it's now pin so i cannot move that accidentally anymore okay so that's how you prevent your link model from moving okay and then to manage the link models so to do that you can go to the insert tab and then from the link panel you can see here manage links okay so you click the manage links and then here on our Manage Links dialog box, as you can see, we have several tabs here. So if, of course, if you're linking your Revit model, you can find the link model here on the Revit tab. If you're linking IFC, it's here. If it is CAD, here. DWF, Point Clouds, Topography, Coordination Model, PDF Images. Okay, so I'll just go back to my Revit tab. Okay, so there are tools for unloading your links or reloading your links and reloading from so you use reload from if you change the location of your link model okay if you change the save path but if you do not change the save path of your link model you just updated your model and then save it on the same path you just need to select reload Okay, to update the link model on your, let's say, mechanical project. So you have here uh, unloading links, reloading links, and then you also have here removing links from the project. And then additional links can be added by clicking add. Okay, so if you want to add more links. And then as you can see here, you also have the uh, some status. What's the status of your link model? and then your reference type okay so the reference type for a link can be set to overlay or attachment so this controls how the link will appear in the host model when the host model is linked to another project when set to overlay it will not appear okay so when set to attachment it will appear along with the host model Okay, so just remember that. So if it is set to overlay, it will not appear. So when set to attachment, it will appear along with the host model. Okay, so just remember your reference type here, it controls how the link will appear in the host model when the host model is linked to another project. Okay, so just remember that one. And another thing here is your... Uh, path type okay so your path type so it can be set to relative or absolute 
So if it is relative, Revit will look for the link in a file path relative to the host model. Okay? So again, so if it is set to relative, so Revit will look for the link in a file path relative to the host model. So if you're going to select absolute, Revit will be looking for a specific file path. Okay? And then obviously you can see here where's the save path and then the positions here. So uh, positions not saved. And then you also have here local alias. So I don't, I don't particular uh, mind the local alias and positions not saved here. Okay. All right. So another thing is that when linking an architectural model, the shared coordinates should be acquired so that everyone is using the same shared coordinates. So that is very important. So let me just cancel this one. Okay. So I'm talking about manage and then project location. And then you can click this drop down arrow. So you can see here the coordinates, right? The coordinates option. So when linking an architectural model, the shared coordinates should be acquired so that everyone is using the same shared coordinates. So the architectural uh, model, the architect will set the project coordinates and then you as a mechanical or electrical or plumbing, so you need to acquire the coordinates that the architect use so that you are uh, using the same shared coordinates. Okay, so you can find it here. So you have several options here for coordinates. So that's the first one, acquire coordinates. The second one is publish and then other options here as well. Okay, so if I'm going to acquire the coordinates of my architectural model, I'm going to select acquire coordinates. So as you can see the definition, it determines the coordinates used in a link project and uses them for the current project. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select click coordinates. And then after that, looking at your status bar, select a link project from which to acquire shared coordinate system. So I want to acquire the coordinate of my link model. So I'm going to click that. And then you can now see here that acquire coordinates succeed. So coordinates acquired from the link model. Okay, so I'll just need to close this one. There you go. Okay, so this is the simple exercise for managing your link file. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.